What's up YouTube TMZ1313 here today I just got my small solar set up in my apartment and will you look at that finally got a breaker box with some breakers um, I got two of them uh, one for solar one for batteries as you can tell and I have a 10 amp for my solar and a 40 amp for my batteries um, so the battery one's going from my charge controller to my batteries and that's going in between uh, I do have a 40 amp charge controller, so that's uh, my maximum is 40 amps. And I'm going to have later on separate strings, so those two are going to, um, I'm going to have another solar one, and those will be different strings, um, but they'll be 10 amps max on them. So I'm pretty happy with it. I also rewired all this wire. Um, as you can tell, it was a mess last time. It's still a little messy this time. But, um, I made it where it's still, it looks better than what it did. The problem with wire routing, or routing wires, is that you don't want to make it unnecessary long, the wire, especially with DC, um, to make it look nice. You want to have it as short as possible, so that's what I, my main goal was, as short as possible, um, no extra, um, long cables, um, so you're only able to work with a little bit. So, but that's what I got going on. It looks a lot nicer than last time. I am pretty excited. So next, I am going to be grounding everything. That's the next step to making my solar system uh, set up a little bit safer. Sorry. We got to sneeze. Oh, okay. So I am going to ground everything. I'm going to ground my charge controller, my inverter, my batteries. I got amplifier behind this box right here. Let's see if you can see it. No, can't really see it, but that's an amplifier. And my solar panels. Um, I'm a ground everything. Have it properly protected. Have a ground pole in the ground to um, protect against lightning strikes and stuff like that. And you just, you know, that that's a very important thing. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But that will be next on my list. Um, I have been producing awesome power. Uh, also, before I get to that, um, I got rid of my meter right here and the meter right here. This was an amp meter. Uh, told me how many watts and stuff. I took that out because it was just drawing power. Because uh, it was, I mean, it, it's powered off by whatever it's uh, metering. So, that was just wasting power. So, I took that off. So, here, let me just show you. Let's light it up. So it's uh, about 11 o'clock at night right now, and uh, or I mean, I'm sorry, 11 o'clock in the morning. So we're getting pretty good uh, power coming in. Um, the batteries are topped off. Um, I am running a fridge, a mini fridge, and uh, light and stuff like that. But yeah, it's going really well. Um, I did get an amp peak of 12.5 amps off two solar panels which only have a max rating of 5.75 amps uh, so it's definitely doing an MPPT function um, let me show you right here uh, for the month I got 3.27 kilowatts um, it's been what it's like the ninth day of the month it's been really cloudy for the past two weeks so I'm finally getting some sun and uh, seeing what's happening but I'm hoping to get, normally I get about 0.9 kilowatts. So I'm almost at one kilowatt off of two panels, which makes me really happy. Um, right now, I'm not really running much off of the system. I'm only running a radio, lights, a small mini fridge, and a few other random things. But nothing off of my house yet. Uh, that's to come. I, I want to make sure everything's done right before I... Uh, uh, tie into my uh, house and power some things in there so let me just show you my solar panels real quick so here's my solar panels I got 200 watt solar panels um, hooked up in series they will be going up on top of my garage soon but for right now that's where they stand um, And yeah, so I've been producing a good energy. Um, everything's going good. 
Um, another thing that I want to do is take this fuse out because it's a cheap fuse and I want to run the breaker through. So I'm going to just take that out and that will be powering my bus bar. I'll have a 40 amp breaker for that. And uh, yeah, so everything's going good. Um, I got a whole bunch more videos coming up of things I'm going to be doing. So keep in touch, like this video, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.